Hello everybody, my name is Nevi. Welcome to the first episode of Elo Milo Plus. I hope you guys enjoy and we will get started. All right, let's go to single player. And, um, I should probably explain. This is the Barry story. This is the secondary uh, story that was added in the Elo Milo Plus version, but we're just gonna do the first adventure. Once upon a time, there were two friends, one red and one blue, that lived on each side of the park. The red friend's name was Elo. And the blue friend's name was Milo. Every morning, they would meet by the tree in the middle of the park to drink apple tea and munch on maple leaf flavored biscuits. At nights, they would head back to their homes to meet the next day. But meeting in the mornings was harder than one might think, because every day it seemed that someone rearranged the park and all its roads and trees. Or maybe it was just Ilo and Mila's memory that weren't all that good. Anyway, as one can understand, this made Ilo and Mila's friendship somewhat complicated. Okay, and we are starting with the prologue. These are super, super short levels that um, don't add to our uh, completion or anything. This is just teaching you how to play. Um, but I'm gonna record this anyway, just in case you haven't, because this is a very, very obscure game. Well, not very obscure, but um, if you search for it on YouTube or anything, there isn't a lot of uh, videos on it. So I'm gonna add to that. So we are starting off as Milo, and as you can see, everything about this game is cubes. Cute cubes. And this is Sebastian. Salutations. Who is this marvelous gentleman with an incredible sense for fashion that stands before you? Why, it's Sebastian, of course. Listen well to my words and you will go far. Wanna reach your friend on the other side? Here, let me give you a piece of advice. Why don't you grab that great dog creature over there and use it to get past that gap? Should you find another of my houses, such as the one you're standing on now, step onto it and I'll arrive as a knight in shining armor and give you some fantastic advice. Farewell off for now, thumb creature. Sebastian is the entertaining tutorial avatar. Now the main mechanic of this game is using different cubes. And there are some, for some reason, mauled after dogs. Well, I say, why don't you step onto that button over there and give your friend on the other side a lift, hmm? Yes, that is the most excellent idea. Whoops. Okay, these signs here also teach us how to play. When you're playing single player, single player like I am, um, you use X to switch between Elo and Milo, but, uh, you independently control the two if you're playing co-op. Press this button. And that will literally suck a cube over. Um, I should have left that over there. Let me switch to Elo. And this will uh, launch you over a gap. Press that again, and reunited! Okay, let's go do switch. Oh, I uh, got an achievement. Uh, I have beaten this game already, once already. Um, I'm using a throwaway account just so you guys get a fresh experience, uh, and that's why my screen name is blurred out. Um, but let's continue. Uh, what does Sebastian have to say? Use the red carpets to go to another side of the cube. Gravity is such a boring concept anyway. Oh yeah, these little red carpets change your direction. It gets confusing in the later levels, trust me. 
Your friend seems to be stuck up there. What a pity. Why don't you place the cube on the spot I had marked out? It works wonders. Okay. There we go. And let's go all the way around so we can meet him. Oh. <laughs> I meant to... I meant to switch. I keep pressing the wave button. Yay! Okay. Work together. What do you have to say now? Not for the great and bold Sebastian is back to give you his advice. Do you feel that smell, by the way? It's the smell of my new frog egg deodorant. Delightful, isn't it? Icky as it may sound, this miserable creature will extend when you place it down. Sound? Try placing it in that gap over there to form a bridge. Okay. Yeah, I, uh, I don't remember all of the cubes in this game. I do remember some of the earlier puzzles, but... At some point, I know my uh, memory is going to drop off, and that'll be fun. Ew. Makes little noises when you walk on it. Um. Oh. Back. Stand upward. It. I keep pressing away when I mean switch. Get you. And oh, uh, okay. Um, did I mess up? I damn. Okay, no, I I didn't mess up. I stopped myself while I was on a roll. I'm not gonna... We're not gonna talk about that. And just reunite our friends. Okay, last one. Carpets. Painting a cube efficiently is never easy. That's why the cube painter has developed six arms so he can paint each side of the cube simultaneously. That's how the story goes anyway. No one has ever seen this legendary creature. Okay, the cube over there has a vile creature in it that will block your way. Remember, it can only block one side at a time, so see if you can outsmart it. Uh, oh, you. I hate this thing. It's ugly. Okay. What we need to do is distract it, while the other sneaks past. Yay! Hey. Okay, now the game really starts. And we are going to start with curly branches. Um, these first nine levels here are uh, required, I think. Um, but these three levels on the far right are bonus levels. Um, I'm depending on how things turn out. I may do those, but they're not. I'm not super worried about them, so we'll do it if we if if it comes about. Okay, now, this is what the real game looks like. These little uh, floating orbs here, they fill up that little contraption. And they um, fill up, they are memory fragments. And when it 
fills up, we get a full memory fragment. I think there are four in total per chapter, so. And these little things are sapkas. They are the key to unlocking the bonus levels, and I don't think I found them all my first time playing this game, so we'll see what happens. Also, gallery items. We will um, get to that eventually, but I'm not super worried about it now. And... Quickly reunite! Okay, and we got all of them, I think. I don't think there's a... When you can play a puzzle, the complete puzzles will unlock. Yes, that's, uh... Informative. We're gonna do airy planes next, I think. Uh, yeah. Have you found the Ultra Deluxe system yet? There are only two games produced for it, Illumila Seffel and The Huntsman and the Fox. Besides playing games, the Ultra Deluxe system can also be used as a waffle iron. Oh my god! Friend! You're right there! <laughs> so close! It's so far! Okay. Let's get to collecting our stuff. Okay. Uh, that's the most I can do. Um, okay. So, Elo is gonna be doing most of the legwork. And, ah! Bunch of other memory fragments. And, uh, the next, the next Sapka. Okay. Uh, let's put that there. Um, actually, do I want to do that? Uh, leave it there for now. Okay. Um, let me get that disc, because that's music. And over here is the other picture. Other picture. There's only one per level. Um, take that. Put it here. Switch. I said switch, not wave. Uh, oh. Carpet. Ah, the last Sapka. There we go. And, ah. There we go. Jump. And, there's no way to, okay. Walk all the way over then. Get that, put it over there, reunite. Okay, and we found everything. You found a photograph. Each photograph you collect will unlock a picture in the gallery section. Some photographs will look a bit worn. Those won't count since they are the ones you've already found. Okay. Now, let's go to Greenscape. The winner of this year's best dessert was Sebastian. He made fantastic muffins with French omelets inside. How big are those muffins? Okay. Let's... We have a dog cube. Or single space cube. I don't know what the formal... Um, I don't think they even have formal names. But, uh, I'm gonna be switching between names I decide to give them. Get us our Safka. Uh-huh. Now, there's the picture and the disc, which I didn't actually see, so there we go. Oh! Our first, um, memory fragment. Dear Milton, to believe that we would meet again in the park of all places, our park, it felt like just, just like the old days, like the colors never faded and the trees were standing as, as tall as ever. Ilana. Oh. Cute. 
Only f <laughs> this this game this game story is not it's not gonna stay all lighthearted. I'm just gonna say that. Oh, I where is Milo in relation? Oh, okay. Put you over here. And press the button. Get you on that. And press it again. Reunite! Okay. And we found everything again. I'm going to start to drop off. Trust me. Congratulations, you rescued a Sapka. Sapkas come in three different colors. When you've rescued every Sapka of a specific color in the chapter, their special bonus puzzle will be unlocked. Some Sapkas wear hats, not just because hats are often, but because you've already rescued them. A star is shown on the puzzle once all Sapkas that have been collected in a puzzle. Okay. And uh, I think that is a good place to end off our first episode. So we will do this set, this um, set of next three, in the next episode so thank you guys so very very much for watching like subscribe all that good stuff and i will see you next time bye